The Manx is it's a natural breed and it's one of the oldest breeds and it originally was found on the Isle of Man which is in the Irish Sea. The main characteristic of the Manx cat is its taillessness and the taillessness is what nature gave us. So the cats on the Isle of Man are without tails. The Manx is um, hundreds of years old. It's, it's, a, it's a natural mutation. So they've been around long before people started uh, breeding and noticing these different breeds. So you know, there's dog people and there's cat people and uh, we each like our own species for specific reasons. So the Manx are very dog-like. And the characteristics which would as associate that is the fact that they're companions animals and they tend to follow you around. They don't necessarily like to be picked up but if you sit down they're on your lap within moments. They will tell you when somebody's at the door, they will tell you when something is amiss and they will definitely let you know when it's time for their food or when it's time for their catnip. If I wouldn't call them an active cat, no, but I don't want the, you to think that they're that they're lazy either. They they have their definite play times. One thing I like about the Manx is they're floor cats. They're very solid, very heavy cats so they hang around on the floor they get up on the chairs, on the table when I'm not home, but uh, generally speaking they, they exist in the lower part of the room, which I really like. So they're good companion animals. They really bond with their family and uh, so that means when company comes over or when you want to really show them off, they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> so they're definitely, they bond with the whole family and they're very good with families. I'm a groomer in this town. I groom dogs as well and I have Manx cats in my shop and they are not afraid of dogs at all. So. They don't really need a lot of grooming, but they do have a double coat. They're one of the few short-haired cats that do, so they will shed a lot. But they're very easy to groom. It's just a matter of combing them out every now and then uh, and removing the undercoat for, uh, you know, for the pet in the home because it's the undercoat that they ingest and would cough up as a fur ball, and it's the undercoat that they leave on the furniture. The long hair version, the Kimrick, is about the same. Uh, the only thing is, is uh, with the longer hair, they tend to sometimes soil a little bit easier and whatnot. But the long hair does not mat, so that is one good feature. An occasional bath and dragging the comb through the hair, much like I do with mine, is, is all they need. The ideal owner is somebody that wants to communicate with their animal. It's not for the person that just wants a cat to sit pretty. Those people should have ceramic cats that sit on their mantelpiece. The Manx cats talk. They are very expressive and they do talk a lot. So the more you talk to them, the more they will talk to you. Quite often they're, they're the type of cat where they want to be the only animal in the house, and the only cat in the house. And if they are, they will just, they will be on your shoulder, they will be on your lap. They will talk to you constantly and let you know what it is that they need.